Hola, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into your reading, Capricorn. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for the month of March. All right, your first card here is the Seven of Cups. Illusions or fantasy or goals and aspirations? That's the question here. All righty. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, Capricorn. So for the month of March, I feel that you guys are going to be heck of inspired. There is a lot. There is going to, and you guys can almost like, I feel that some of you guys are already experiencing this, like a momentum of energy really flowing or really coming towards you. Uh, this could be in creative outlook um, in the sense of becoming very inspired. For some of you guys, it could even be like writing, tapping into your creativity, Capricorn. Um, I know Capricorns are not known for that, uh, but that's definitely coming through. And what they're saying is that I think the the expansion that you're currently experiencing on a mental level is very, very uh, in conjunction with bringing manifestations or desires into life or actually attaining goals and desires. Now, your obstacle here is the Knight of Pentacles. So what they're saying here, Capricorn, is that you yourself are the only one that is currently creating obstacles for yourself. It's almost like sometimes when we say uh, we need to kind of get out of our own way uh, to make things happen. I feel that your practicality or um, the earthy energy of you, Capricorn, you guys are very... Um, kind of into like factual things like it has to be certain if not then you find thousands of reasons why it wouldn't work out and with the knight of pentacles here as an obstacle uh this is representing to me um being stubborn or not wanting to change certain beliefs or certain ideas about um about life about business about finances about wealth about health, you know, uh, what they're showing me here, it's almost like you're coming into this new energy, this new momentum. And I feel that to really push yourself and to really be able to expand yourself and see not only growth, but stability to its full potential, you have the sun card here and the full card. You are being blessed, Capricorn. You are being blessed with a new beginning, a new pathway, a new form of idea, a new way of making money, a new way to create more wealth, or a new way to live a new different type of lifestyle or a different type of life that is much more suited for your goals and your desires that you're wanting to manifest. But in doing that or being able to achieve that, you kind of have to get out of your own set ways okay so what they're telling me here is that for some of you guys i think that throughout life um based on our experiences we've become the way we are right so there are certain things that you believe and this could even go back to our belief system uh there are certain things that you believe that are possible and then there's things that you do not believe are possible and there lies the line between your own restrictions. You're restricting yourself or your beliefs or the stubbornness of not wanting to change a certain belief is what's keeping you from progress. Now, in the past and passing, we have the Knight of Cups being extremely um, connected to your intuitive side, being extremely connected to that of you know, on an emotional level, listening to your intuition, paying attention to your dreams. And it's almost like you have so many goals or so many aspirations that you're wanting to achieve. But with the seven of cups, it's kind of like you put your idea in one thing and then you go to the next and you go to the next, et cetera, et cetera. And what they're telling you is if you really want to see 
the manifestations of whatever your goals or aspirations are Capricorn for the month of March, you're going to have to focus on one thing at a time. Okay. So with that being said, what they're telling you here is that there is a need for you. Um, there is a need for you to remain focused on achieving a goal at one goal at a time so that you do not scarce your energy or so you do not have uh, scattered energy. And instead of it helping you, it's actually hindering you. When you're trying to do more than a thousand things at a time, you that means that you have less time for details. You have less time to really put attention to, um, you know, a specific a specific goal that you're trying to achieve. And what they're saying is bringing the 70,000 things you're trying to achieve in this lifetime, Capricorn, bringing it down to one or two uh, temporary goals, it, it's taking you, you're taking steps towards the future. You're taking steps towards uh, seeing those manifestations. Uh, so what they're telling you here is that focus is going to be very important for the month of March. Focus and not just focus, but really being transparent in what you're wanting to achieve. Now, what you don't see coming here is the King of Wands. And the King of Wands could represent dealing with a fire energy. I feel that um, there is, if you're currently dealing with the fire energy, I feel that there is like something in them that perhaps you doubt or you don't feel like they're capable of attaining or achieving. And I think that that's going to be very... Um, impactful for you guys in March because I feel they step up to the level. I feel that they show you or they're trying to show you um, a better way or or approaching a situation from a different perspective. And I think that their insight is really helpful. And, and, and you can even take some advice from this fire energy because I feel they're coming from a genuine, a genuine um, place. And I think they're, the advice that they're giving to you is to the best of your interest. And one of them could be to letting go of feeling restricted or letting go of the fear that you're always going to remain where you're at right now. Um, I do see a lot of strife and difficulty. I think that you are your own worst enemy, Capricorn. Uh, for the month of March, it's going to be very important to surrender is what they're saying. Don't resist the changes that are happening don't fight them. Uh, if you're currently being challenged, don't doubt yourself, Capricorn. Um, you believe in yourself. Really have confidence in yourself. See, when I see the sun in your crown energy, it usually indicates, uh, you know, um, protection. And it's, protect, it's protection from the universe. It's from higher spirit. It's protection of, of God himself protecting you and trying to make way for you, Capricorn. So there's really no way for you to doubt this process. D let go of feeling like restricted because of circumstances that are in the now. Understand and remember that nothing lasts forever. If you're currently dealing with difficulty or you're feeling restricted, like you can't progress in life. What they're telling you is the more focus and energy you put to that, you, you yourself are creating more blockages. You got to let go of that. Have faith. Have faith in God. Have faith in spirit, uh, have faith in angels or have faith in the universe. Open your heart and declare yourself, declare what it is that you want and really trust the process and know, you know what? I have faith. I'm putting all my faith in, in whatever it is that I'm wanting to achieve or I'm wanting to attain. I'm stepping back, breathing and letting everything fall into place the way it's supposed to. Now, your advice card here is the justice card. And the justice card is not being harsh on yourself, Capricorn. Let go of resentment. Let go of regret. Let go of feeling or carrying the burdens from things you've done in the past. The past is the past. You cannot undo that. You cannot undo the mistakes we've done. We got to learn from them. Take them, as a less, take them as a lesson that needed to be learned and move on from that. You yourself are linking or chaining yourself to past mistakes and you're carrying that as regrets that ultimately are affecting your health Capricorn. So you got to let go of that and have faith. Like I said, the page of wands as your energies or the energies currently influencing you or around you has a lot to do with new beginnings. 
It speaks about taking on new journeys, new ventures, new endeavors, new ways of making money with the Eight of Pentacles here. Really, you've put your effort, you've put your determination, you've put sacrifice into your business or into the company you work for. You've been busting your ass, doing what you have to do. And you know what? If it feels like you're restricted right now or if it feels like you just can't get momentum, have faith because there's new beginnings. There's new beginnings that are unfolding. This is the universe coming in and telling you, Capricorn, I'm finally removing this obstacle from your life. What are you going to do about it? What is it that you're going to achieve? What is it that you're going to go after? Ultimately, in this reading, what Spirit is telling you is, right now you focus on what you're not able to do or where you're not able to, what you're not able to fix, what you're not able to attain. What Spirit is telling you is, if I remove all these obstacles, which I will, moving forward, what is it that you're willing to do or what is it that you're willing to work at to make that manifestation or whatever it is that you're trying to achieve become a reality? Okay, so again, get out of your own way, Capricorn. Have faith and you will see things unfold in the most beautiful of ways. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.